YouTube, welcome back to a new video. And uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really simple, minimal currency UI, as you can see. So this is not going to take uh, long at all. Um, yeah, I hope you guys get some value and information. First, we're gonna make a new layer. So hit this button and let's go click and hold and go for the rounded rectangle tool, as you can see. Um, this is quite round, so the radius, you want to increase this, like, uh, let's try 55 for now, and fill, let's enable, and stroke, disable, we're just going to go over, hopefully this matches, there we go, perfect, so this is what we have, looks pretty good to me, let's make a new layer, again, okay, next we're going to make this, uh, the plus icon here, so, I'm just gonna zoom in, let's go back to our rectangle tool. I'm going to hold shift and all as I drag this out. And actually we have to lower the radius to 45, I think. Should work. Uh, actually a bit lower, 35. Let's try it now. Okay, there we go, perfect. And so with this, let's um, go ahead and start styling this button. So right click, let's go into bundling options. Right here, let's go for creating overlay. Angle 90. Let's click right here. I'm going to move this little ticker and open this one. This one I'm going to select color as well as the second one. Let's select this color right here. Okay, that looks good to me. Uh, there's a slight little outline here, so let's go in the shadow. Uh, the color is going to be white. Let's go for normal angle negative 90. Let's do something like this right here. There we go. Oh, this gets to me. Um, next, let's add a stroke. Size three, and we go for this little color right here. As you can see, it is starting to uh, take shape. Now let's go for a drop shadow. Spread all the way up, distance. And some size. Let's go for this color here. There we go. Okay, it looks good to me. There we go. And for now, right click and hit convert to smart objects. Let me go back into uh, blending options. And add a stroke. Let's go for this color here. Just kind of finish it off. Is it okay? And now let's go for a new layer. Now let's change to ellipsal. We use the color white and let's make this little highlight. And you can use this code of filter, blur, and Gaussian blur if you want. So we have something uh, kind of like this. As you can see. And then right here with, with this layer, you can make a new layer. Right click and hit mask. Take your brush tool, use your color white. Just paint a little highlight here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we have our button. We just have to add the text. So, okay, so for the icon, uh, the plus icon, I'm gonna use the rectangle tool. Let's create that. Copy, Control T, and rotate. And take this, place it right here. And we're just gonna apply some effects. Just gonna drop shadow. Go negative 90. Let's go right here. Go inner shadow for a blue color. second drop shadow at 90 this will just go right here so there is our plus button looking pretty good let's group all this up so control G right here and this places on the currency bar there is a slight little shadow here which we're gonna add to the group uh, actually Let's copy this group. Control J. 
right click and convert to smart objects. That's actually a better idea. <laughs> okay, let's go drop shadow, 90. Let's increase the distance a little bit. And just do something like this. Should be fine. Let's increase the change the color, I mean. Let's get to me, and now all we have to do is just add some text. Let me change the font first though. Um, I guess this could work, right? It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use this icon here. I think this is fine. And now the last step is to just add this little shadow. So yeah, let's take this layer, and let's head into blending options right here. Let's go for a drop shadow. Change the color. There we go. And let's increase the spread until we have something like this. And then I'm at a second drop shadow because this one is going to be softer, like this. And yeah, that is going to be it. Um, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a pretty quick one. Like I said, it's very simple. So I hope you guys learned something. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more, subscribe, leave a like, check out our store. The link is going to be down below. It is also. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video.